business is almost always about being able to solve problems. And the only way that you can solve problems is, drum roll, to have a conversation. So, a lot of people are afraid to have conversations. A lot of people are afraid to have hard conversations, difficult, or what they perceive rather as difficult conversations. And so, um, there's two general types of entrepreneurs that I find those that are okay having difficult conversations and those are not difficult, um, have a hard time having difficult conversations. And of course, you know, society doesn't necessarily teach us how to have difficult conversations. So of course we're not really necessarily that good at it. If you're already having good, if you're good at having difficult conversations, have more of them. If you're not good, well, this video is for you because I want to share just how important this is and what happens if you don't have difficult conversations. If you, if you procrastinate difficult conversations, doesn't matter the type of difficult conversation, but what you gotta realize is in business, business is the monetization of solving problems, right? So if you, if you're selling art, right? If you have an art business, you're, the problem that you're solving is someone to be inspired, right? They're paying money to be inspired. They're paying money to feel, nice in their environment. They're paying money to feel maybe rich. Uh, they're paying money to feel good. Okay. So, so in every, it doesn't matter if you're selling art or if you're selling, you know, uh, people are working on my house right now, HVAC people, right? So they're providing a service making. And so I have air conditioning and, and these types of things. So in both cases, someone's solving a problem. They have a problem that I'm willing to pay, you know, money to be able to solve that problem. So if you if you don't solve problems, you're not going to make any money. That's that's just just kind of be what it is. When you create an offer, when I tell people to create an irresistible offer, it's like uh, solve the problem in a way that makes it so somebody can't say no. That's really what that is. So the problem is that when you don't have difficult conversations, when you put off a conversation with a team member, you put off a conversation with a client, you, you, you ignore and you procrastinate, all you do is you make it more difficult and all you do is make it so that more than likely you're either going to have to spend more money later, you're gonna have to waste more money and you're not gonna be in a place where somebody actually trusts you, right? Because being able to have difficult conversations, when you have a difficult conversation with someone and you're gonna have a lot of them in business, Someone trusts you more after that difficult conversation. You know, in relationships, uh, you know, I own a couple of relationship companies and of course I've been married for almost seven years. And so when you have an argument or when you have a fight, uh, when you have a disagreement between, you know, two people and one people, one person thinks this and the other person thinks that, and you're able to get to a place where you come to an agreement and that might have created an argument that might have created, um, you know, a, a, that could even have created anger you may not even approach that scenario where both of you were your best self. That's okay. That's, that's what humans do. That's, that's how we get through things. But, you know, if you look at um, the research from the Gottman Institute, and of course, just your own life, when you come back and you've been able to repair that moment and you've been able to come together on something and you were able to create an agreement upon something, the drawing part was really difficult, okay? Like the drawing part makes it so you're like, oh my God, this, this like hurts, it might hurt your heart, these types of things. But that's actually what creates depth in a relationship. Like up until that point, you don't actually have depth in a relationship, but that kind of um, being in those places, being in those spaces and times, make it so that you trust that person because of what you went through together. All right, so that, that creates depth. Now, that's not a very fun experience. Like, in reality, most people don't necessarily want to do that. Most people don't want to have difficult conversations. Most people don't want to go through that. And so in business, it doesn't matter if it's with a customer or with a team member or like whatever it might be, I'd say majority of our problems are either, you know, not related to this video, are either mindset or they're us not having either the confidence or the desire to have difficult conversations that we need to have, you know, to have, to have that conversation. And so what ends up happening is we have all these open loops and we have all these kind of like all this energy that's kind of all over the place and then people aren't clear. And this could come with your team. This could come with suppliers. This could come with customers. And listen, I, I only know this because I've done a shit job of it in my life. Uh, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not, today I'm not the world's best communicator. Today I'm not the world's best at difficult conversations. 
but it is something that I've, um, you know, over the past number of years, when you clearly communicate and you are okay with difficult conversations and you come from a place of integrity of word and that, hey, I'm going to create depth in this and this may not be the way that we both want it to be, but we're going to figure it out. It makes it so you can have great business partnerships. It makes it so that you can have great relationships with your customers. And it also makes it so that there's not this, you know, a lot of people end up creating a lot of resentment in their life, resentment in yourself or other people resenting you because they don't have the confidence to have the difficult conversation. And so they sort of kind of go, and then this is the way it boils up. And then, you know, this is why people end up a lot of times having refunds in their business. This is why a lot of people, they don't buy anything else from you. Like almost all of the reasons where business doesn't go the way that, or, you know, if someone quits, generally speaking, those like things that you really don't want to have happen in your business, they all happen because of resentment from not having a difficult conversation because you didn't have the confidence or the conviction to be like, okay, we need to have a sweaty conversation. Uh, you know, sweaty conversation when, you know, your heart's beating a little faster. And if you can't have them, you are going to have a really difficult time in your business. You're going to make it so that people don't believe you, don't trust you. Um, it's going to be very difficult in terms of your integrity. And like, I'm just going to tell you, majority of the entrepreneurs I meet aren't used to this. And it is absolutely like a learned skill. This is not, you don't come, you don't jump out of the womb. <laughs> you don't jump out of the womb and be like, I'm good at this. I'm good. I'm a great communicator. This is something that you learn and then you only learn it from doing it, figuring it out yourself. Uh, but I guarantee you, if you don't do this, if you don't have those sweaty conversations, number one, you need to like write down what's all the conversations, what's all the difficult conversations I need to have? What are all the open loops I need to close? Go and do that because new things can't come into your life until the current things are closed. And it might require having some sweaty conversations, some difficult conversations. But those things, they'll create depth with the people in your life or it'll make it so that you both aren't in each other's lives anymore. And that's even better because only those that should be in your life, only the customers you should have, should you have, only the people in your life that you should have should be there. Uh, and you've really just got to trust that those people in your life, they are there for a reason. If, if they're not, that's okay. It's been Scott Oldford. If you like the video, like the video. If you aren't on my email list, make sure you see the link below. I'll see you there. I'll see you next time. Keep scaling, keep building, and have a great day.